I just jump aside for this? Is he going to be all right? Sir, good job. Check for ventilations. Any medications at all. This has never happened. Check for a carotid pulse. Patient has no pulse. Okay, beginning CPR. Analyzing now. Analyzing now. Scan clear. Shock advised. Clear the patient. I'm clear. You're clear. Everybody's clear. First shock's on board. Machine is now analyzing. No shock advised. Checking for pulse. I've got a pulse. Checking blood pressure. Right, left. Ready? What you've just seen is a dramatization of a patient in cardiac arrest. A first responder used the LifePak 500 AED, or Automated External Defibrillator, to stop a chaotic heart rhythm called ventricular fibrillation. The defibrillation shock allowed the heart's natural pacemaker to resume an organized, perfusing rhythm. This video will give you an overview of the operation and basic features of the LifePak 500 AED. For complete details on its operation, you should refer to the operating instruction manual. The LifePak 500 AED is battery powered, compact, and easy to use. The AED uses a patented shock advisory algorithm that analyzes the patient's ECG rhythm to determine the need for a defibrillation shock. The AED uses quick combo disposable electrodes that are designed to be kept with the AED at all times. Two pairs of electrodes may be stored in the carrying case. Quick combo ready pack electrodes may be pre-connected to the AED. Operating an AED is easy. Just confirm that the patient is unconscious, not breathing, and without a pulse. Turn on the AED, apply and connect the electrodes, then simply follow the voice prompts and screen messages. These are the basic steps needed to use the AED. Now let's look at what happened in this dramatization of a patient in cardiac arrest and learn more about the AED. Honey, honey, when the woman honey. discovered her unresponsive honey. husband, she oh immediately God. called 911 to activate the emergency response system. After calling, she returned to her husband to begin CPR until the arrival of the emergency response team. On arrival, the local emergency response team reassesses the patient's condition. They confirm he is unconscious, they check for breathing, and check for a pulse. Remember, the LifePak 500 AED should only be used on a person who is unconscious, not breathing, and without a pulse. It is essential that you assess the person using basic cardiac life support skills before you use the AED. When the LifePak 500 AED is brought to the patient's side, the first step is to turn it on by pressing the on button. After a moment, the AED will prompt connect electrodes. Connect electrodes. Next, the electrodes are placed. The patient's chest is exposed and wiped dry if necessary. CPR is continued throughout this procedure if possible. Correct electrode placement is extremely important to help ensure that the energy is delivered properly to the heart muscle. Let's take a closer look at electrode placement. After the backing is removed, the electrodes are pressed firmly on the patient's chest in the standard anterior lateral position as shown on the electrode package. The electrode with the heart symbol is placed mid-chest, lateral to the patient's left nipple. The other electrode is placed slightly to the right of the upper breastbone or sternum. Press the electrode smoothly from one end to the other. Be careful not to place the electrode directly over the breastbone because it could lessen the energy delivered to the heart. Once the electrodes are in position, the AED prompts push analyze. push analyze. CPR is stopped and the responder pushes the analyze button. The message analyzing now, analyzing stand clear, now. is heard. Stand clear. Everyone moves away from the patient so that the AED can analyze the patient's ECG rhythm. The AED analyzes the ECG rhythm in about six seconds. 
Do not move or touch the patient whenever analysis is active because movement may distort the ECG rhythm or interrupt analysis. If the AED detects a shockable rhythm, it states shock advised, shock advised and starts charging. When charging is complete, the prompt stand clear, stand clear. push, push to, to shock. shock will be heard along with the alert tone. The tone and message will remain for up to 15 seconds or until you push the shock button. Before pushing the shock button, the first responder looks around to be sure no one is touching the patient so that they will not receive an accidental shock. Clear the patient. I'm clear. You're clear. Everybody's clear. When convinced all are clear, he pushes the shock button. After the shock, the voice prompt, Analyzing Now, is heard as the AED automatically analyzes the patient's rhythm again. The AED will determine if another shock is necessary. If another shock is needed, the entire operating sequence should be repeated, up to three times or per local protocol. In this case, the LifePak 500 AED does not detect a shockable rhythm and states, No shock advised. Check for pulse. After a no shock advised message, the AED will prompt you to check for a pulse, and if there is no pulse, to start CPR. If no pulse, start CPR. I've got a pulse. Checking blood pressure. Continue to follow basic life support procedure or local protocols for supporting the patient. If the patient's care is transferred to advanced care providers and the receiving defibrillator monitor is configured to use quick combo electrodes, the handoff is easy. The quick combo electrodes are merely disconnected from the LifePak 500 AED and then connected to the therapy cable on the manual defibrillator monitor. To review the basic steps of this easy-to-use AED, confirm the patient is unconscious, not breathing, and without a pulse. Turn on the AED, apply and connect electrodes, follow the voice prompts and screen messages until the emergency medical team arrives. This concludes the overview of the basic operation of the LifePak 500 AED. For complete details, you should refer to the operating instruction manual. The rest of this video provides more information about operating specifics and features of the LifePak 500 AED. Now let's consider some of the specifics about operating the LifePak 500 AED. The AED can be powered by two types of battery packs a rechargeable SLA, sealed lead acid, or a non-rechargeable lithium battery. The SLA battery pack requires a planned recharging schedule, whereas the lithium battery does not. At room temperature, a new fully charged SLA battery pack can deliver approximately 60 shocks at 360 joules. SLA battery packs should be replaced after two years or 200 charge cycles. To properly maintain an SLA battery pack, Recharge after each use or once a month if not used. Use only the Physio Control battery charger designed for the LifePak 500 AED. Do not expose the SLA battery packs to temperatures greater than 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. A new non-rechargeable lithium battery pack has a shelf life of five years and will provide approximately 300 shocks at 360 joules when properly stored. To maintain lithium battery packs, store battery packs at room temperature. Do not expose battery packs to temperatures greater than 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The LifePak 500 AED stores continuous ECG and device data. It begins storing data from the moment you turn on the AED and continues for up to 20 minutes. The LifePak 500 can be purchased with or without an audio recording option. A code summary report of initial ECG rhythm, the ECG rhythm before and after defibrillation, and other events can be printed after patient use. Code summary data can be transferred directly to a printer or to a computer using the appropriate data transfer cable. For a detailed description of the summary report, refer to the operating instruction manual.
Audio and continuous ECG data can be transferred to a PC either directly or by modem at the end of a patient use. This data is reviewed with the QuickView 500 data review program. Refer to those separate operating instructions for a more detailed description about the QuickView 500 features. The LifePak 500 AED has several options that can be configured prior to putting the AED in use. You can give the AED a unique identification number, program a phone number and select a modem for transferring data to a computer, choose between a three-shock energy sequence of 200-200-360 or 200-300-360 joules, set CPR time to be either zero or one of several intervals between 15 and 180 seconds, enable the AED to analyze the ECG rhythm automatically between shocks, Set scene audio recording, if this option is purchased, to be on or off. For more details about these setup options and how to configure them, consult your LifePak 500 AED operating instructions. The LifePak 500 AED performs automatic tests daily and weekly. These auto self-tests include a system check, charge and internal discharge. You can also do a test that simulates an actual patient use. This requires using the PhysioControl test load accessory. The results of these tests are stored in the AED test log and can be printed or sent to a PC. If the battery gets low, you'll see the low battery symbol and message. You should replace the battery at your earliest opportunity. If the replace battery message and voice prompt occur, replace battery. you must replace the battery immediately. To replace the battery, lift the latch release on the battery and slide it out. Next, insert the connector end of the new battery and slide it in all the way until it latches securely. If you turn on the AED and do not connect the electrodes, or if an electrode is disconnected during use, the message and voice prompt, connect electrodes, will occur. Connect electrodes. The AED cannot analyze the ECG or deliver a shock unless the electrodes are connected to the AED and the patient. Check the electrode connection to the AED and on the patient. Push Analyze to restart analysis after the connect electrodes message is gone. If the AED is charged and the electrodes or cable become detached, or if you do not push the shock button within 15 seconds, the AED will remove the charge internally. The charge removed message will be displayed along with a tone. Push Analyze. The AED will prompt you to push Analyze again. As mentioned earlier, the patient should not be moved while the ECG rhythm is being analyzed. Touching or bumping the patient, performing CPR, or tugging on the electrode cable may cause motion to be detected and inhibit analysis. Motion detection is a physio control feature designed to prevent analysis of ECG artifact and to protect a rescuer from receiving a shock. If the AED detects motion, the motion detected stop motion message and prompt will occur. You need to stop touching the patient, stop CPR, cardiac compressions, and manual breathing and check other possible causes of motion if present, such as check if the patient is breathing, stop any vehicle movement, move away handheld communication devices or other equipment that may emit interfering radio frequency signals. If the motion stops within 20 seconds, the AED will continue its rhythm analysis. If the motion does not stop within 20 seconds, the device will stop analyzing. You'll need to stop the motion and push the Analyze button again to get the Analyzing AED to restart analysis of the patient's clear. ECG rhythm. If the red service indicator appears, you may continue to use the AED. After use, remove the device from service and contact an authorized service person. If the service indicator appears along with the call service message, the AED needs immediate attention. Turn the AED off, then on again. If the call service message reappears, remove the AED from use and immediately contact an authorized service person.
Finally, here are some key items to remember. The LifePak 500 AED is to be used only on persons not breathing and with no pulse. It is not designed to be used on infants or children younger than eight years old because of the high energy levels. Use care in the presence of high concentrations of oxygen, anesthetics, or other flammable agents. A spark may cause a fire or explosion. Remove those agents prior to shock. Keep the AED cable connector protected with its cover or pre-connected electrodes. Water or other fluid in the AED connector may damage the AED or present a fire or shock hazard. To clean the AED, use a sponge or towel moistened with mild soap and water. Rubbing alcohol and solutions containing quaternary ammonium compounds or peroxide may also be used. Do not use acetone to clean the AED. To review the basic steps of this easy-to-use AED, confirm the patient is unconscious, not breathing, and without a pulse. Turn on the AED. Apply and connect electrodes. Follow the voice prompts and screen messages until the emergency medical team arrives. This is the end of the LifePak 500 AED in-service video. Be sure to refer to the operating instructions manual for more detailed information. Thank you for choosing the LifePak 500 AED from Physio Control.